Almighty, all wise, and eternal God, boldly we come into your presence. We come before your throne. We acknowledge you as our God, our Savior, and our King. We are grateful to be able to come into the house of the Lord. We are grateful to be able to come before your throne. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name, by virtue of the blood of Jesus, that we enter your presence without sin consciousness. We enter your presence without guilt and without shame, but boldly, knowing that you hear what we ask and grant our petition. Father, thank you that this is the day that you've made. You watched over us that night. Throughout the night season, you have kept us from all harm and all danger, seen and unseen. You have spoiled the plans of our enemies. You have turned upon their own head, their own craftiness. You have not allowed them to perform their handiwork against us. Your word is our shield and our buckle. Your word, Father, is sovereign. Your word is what we stand fast on. We thank you, O oh God, that the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. We thank you, O oh God, that the word of the Lord strengthens us from the inside out. We thank you, O oh God, that your word is the seed that gave us birth. And your word is the continuation of the keeping power in our lives. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. We thank you for all you've done and all that you are doing. We thank you for being first in our life. Thank you, O oh God. Now in Jesus' name, as we enter your presence, Father, and before your throne, we acknowledge that there is none greater than you. There is none like you, Father. You are the most high. You are almighty. You are all-powerful. You are all-knowing. You are sovereign, and we give you praise. You have eyes to see, ears to hear, feet to walk. Your, ha your hand and your arm is to be made bare on our behalf. We thank you, O oh God, for being our real God, our real reward. Thank you for going before us in your presence. We now stand confidently, Father, trusting all that you have uttered to be so. And we give you praise and we give you glory. Thank you for being a good God. Thank you for being a present God. Thank you that we can call upon you in a time of trouble and you will hear us and will grant our petition. Thank you for the angels that have gone before our face to prosper our way. Thank you for the doors, the doors of opportunity and success that you've opened for us. Thank you, O oh God, for your Holy Spirit who lives on the inside of us, who dwells in us and we in him, who reminds us of the things that you have declared to be so that are certain for our day and time. Father, in Jesus' name, we stand in your counsel. We stand before your throne. We stand in your presence. And we thank you right now. We implore you at this moment and in this time, Father, that your hand will continue to serve as the touching power of God in our lives. We thank you for watching over us and keeping us safe. Thank you for divine recovery, divine healing. I pray as the shepherd over the flock. I pray as the priest in the home. I pray, Father, as an intercessor for the nation and I ask that you, by your Holy Spirit, as we pray all manners of prayer, that your word will go forth out of my mouth, out of your mouth, and will not return to you void. I pray in Jesus' name, you will watch over it and perform it. I pray and ask that the angels of the Lord will carry the prayer words to their fulfillment. I pray that untold legions of angels multitudes of multitudes will be released on our behalf to do war in the heaven, to do war in the earth and the earth beneath, in the seas and in the galaxies. Father, I pray and ask in Jesus' name for the regiments of the living God, the hosts of the Most High, to be loosed on our behalf. Father, there is no God like you. You're the one who puts up and take down. 
You're the one who determines the course that we go. As the waters are in your hand, so are the hearts of men. And you're able to turn them in whatever direction you want them to go. All flesh is yours, Father, the earth and the fullness thereof, and they that dwell therein. There is none greater than you. Lord Jesus, we thank you for being our high priest who ever make intercession before us. Lord Jesus, we thank you for taking our petition and request in before our Father and making known to him the desires of our heart and the longings of our heart, the longings of our soul. Lord Jesus, we thank you. Thank you for being our lawyer in the courtroom. Thank you for being our intercessor, our advocate, representing the cause of the third heavens in our lives. Father, in Jesus' name, we ask that the Lord would enter into your presence on our behalf and behalf of the body of Christ and behalf of this country and the world at large on behalf of the righteous and intercede for us. We ask that you will hear his petition, grant our, grant our request, and let what Satan has done and let the plans that Satan has implemented for our individual lives, for the body of Christ and for this nation, let it be canceled, let it be cast down, let the judgments be overturned, let the decisions be neutralized, we ask now in Jesus' name, Father. We ask for sufficient representation in the third heavens. And we ask, Father, for your hand and your arm to be made bare against those who will stand against your people. We are asking now, Father, that you will save the lost. There are those who do not want to go in. They do not want to accept the Lord as Savior. They do not want to acknowledge him as God. They do not want to look upon him as the one that was pierced in his side and in his hand. They do not want to acknowledge him. But they stand in the door, Father, to present those who want to accept the Lord and want to attend your church and want to walk in faith and want to be a member of the body of Christ. We're asking you, Father, in Jesus' name, that they be removed in the name of Jesus. Those that are blocking progress, those that are blocking momentum and freedom. Father, in the name of Jesus, those who are blocking the will and the minds of, and hearts of people. We're asking you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that the Lord Jesus Christ, who became our divine substitute, who bore it all in his own body, will now be loosed on our behalf to stand on our behalf to remove those that are blocking and hindering out of the way. Father, so that the multitudes and the masses don't face uncertainty in death and uncertainty in life, we ask in Jesus' name that the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ will be allowed to go forth, will be allowed to go forth even after the order of the Reformation, when it was lost and buried, burned, and put in monasteries. Father, we ask in Jesus' name that the gospel of salvation that is hated by men because they're hated by evil spirits will be allowed to go forth in the name of Jesus. Talk on the heartstrings of the young ones, the middle-aged ones, the older ones, male and female, children and teenagers, young adults. Father, save them. They cannot come except your spirit draw them. Holy Spirit, work on their heart, work on their mind. Wake them up. Turn and change their course in life that they seek after the living God. Father, as long as we seek your faith, as long as we come after you, you said 
you will cause us to prosper. You said you will cause us to succeed. As long as we seek your faith as our provider, as our deliverer, as our healer, as our way maker, as our miracle worker, you said, Father, as long as we do this, you in return will be to us a God and we will be to you a people. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we seek your face right now. We acknowledge you right now on behalf of the church, on behalf of the body of Christ, on behalf of the masses, God. We call upon you right now in the name of Jesus to clear the way, clear the pathway, and let the will of the living God be once again inserted into the fray and make all of the difference in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let not the proud, the haughty, Father, let not the greedy, let not the men and women that are running after filthy lucre and that are proud, boasters, and high-minded and heady, stiff-necked, God, we ask in Jesus' name that your word will manifest in the body of Christ, in the church, and we will turn from our ways and not be as the heathens and not be as the unrighteous and the wicked, but will acknowledge you and serve you with a pure heart, with clean hands, we turn away. Father, forgive us. Forgive us for what we've made church, what we've made worship. Forgive us for lack of study and prayer. Forgive us for a lack, oh God, of all those things that you have commanded us to do that we have not done. Forgive us, Father. Forgive us for being stiff-necked. Forgive us for being bitter and angry, jealous and envious. Forgive us for being unforgiving. Father, forgive us for sins that we have committed in secret that we perceive that no one knew. Not remembering that you are to and from throughout the whole earth. And the day and the night is alike unto you. Forgive us, Father. We repent in Jesus' name. Forgive us in the name of the Lord. Forgive us for blasphemies. Forgive us, Father, for idolatry. In the name of Jesus. Forgive us for carrying out evil assignments. Tailbearers and gossipers. Father, forgive us for being thieves and robbers. Forgive us in the name of Jesus. We take the grounds back now. Satan, the Lord, rebuke you. We close in and all doors. Now, in the name of Jesus, and we invoke the Holy Scriptures, and we invoke the righteous promises of God, and we declare that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And those that speak ill of us, that their words shall fall to the ground, that their actions shall be met with violent resistance from the angels of the Lord, and their trafficking shall cease. And their lording and slavery of us shall fail miserably. Father, in the name of Jesus, set up your kingdom and set up your, your glory and your structure in this earth. Let your angels, Father, have free reign. We invite them in the earth. Angels of the Most High God, we invite you into the earth realm. We invite you into this life of ours to aid and assist in the fulfillment of the will and purpose of God. Father, in Jesus' name, let your word manifest healing in our body. Let your word manifest deliverance in our body. Let your word manifest freedom in us, Father. In the name of Jesus, let divine healing, divine health, and divine recovery now be our lot in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, we give you praise and we give you glory. 
prosper us in all that we do. Cause us to walk in all that you ordain. Father, extend your favor and extend our days. Long life and health. We pray for the body of Christ, the members of this church. And we ask you in Jesus' name for divine healing, divine recovery. We ask for you to sustain, uphold, and preserve them. We ask, Father, that you'll continue to work on their heart and mind. That rather in church or out of church, they will walk in your will. And they will obey your commandments to do what you've commanded them to do. To give and to support your work. Pandemic or no pandemic, you have ordained us to do it. And we must do it. We must attend service. We must worship. We must pray. We must study. We must reach the law. We must not live a life unto ourselves to satisfy ourselves. But we continue to live a life to bring worship and praise to your name. Father, in Jesus' name, let the chakras be broken off of us. Let the assignments of the dark kingdom be canceled and reversed, repelled. Father, in Jesus' name, let the mockers and the naysayers, let the haters, O oh God, let what they devise return on their own head. Let those who in secret seek our harm and seek our hurt, let their counsel go back on their own head. Let them be broken in pieces. Let them be taken captive in our stead. Let what they have thought of us to, to speak over us be spoken over them. Let them that take pride and delight in cursing receive it to themselves. And let them that despise blessings, let blessings be far from them. But, oh God, we pray now in Jesus' name that the nations of the world will begin to reach out in prayer. The church all over America and all over the world will begin to reach out and call upon your holy name. And we give you praise and we give you glory. Father, now in Jesus' name, let your will be done. Let your, your plan and your purpose be done. And we give you thanks for it. Touch the hearts of your church, men and women everywhere to gather in respectable places, respectable numbers, under respectable direction. For you said if two or three are gathered in your midst, you would be in our midst. If we gather in your name, you would be. Two or three, you say. And if we can gather in ten and beyond, certainly you are present. And so we thank you right now for supernatural provision. Let your glory return to the house all over America. Let true worship, not worship of the flesh and of the world, not worship in word but not in heart, let worship in spirit and in truth return to the sanctuaries of the living God. Let the flesh be pulled down. Let man be taken down. And let the spirit of the living God enter the church sanctuaries again. And let the Lord be lifted up. Let the Lord Jesus Christ be lifted from the earth in the church. Let your eyes and your heart be put in the church again perpetually. And Father, we give you praise. Let the anointing return to the church. And, oh God, we thank you. We glorify you now. And, Father, most of all, the assignment that you have us to know now, make it known to us. Whatever it is that we should be doing right now, make it known to us. Help us to get out of the way. Help us to not see ourselves more than we see you. Help us to reach for you 
and make you the center of our lives and not the cares of this world. Father, in Jesus' name, stretch out in us. Holy Spirit, wake up inside of us. Stretch out in us. Flow out of us in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus, anoint us to be the vessels that you choose to use of honor, of gold and silver. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the will of the living God be done. Let our prayer gatherings be with design and be led by your spirit. Help us not to just miss words and say what we think is convenient to say. Holy Spirit, come alongside of us. We so need you to help us to pray the prayers that get results, the prayers that count. We ask in the name of Jesus, Father, that the anointing to utter and speak in other tongues, the language of angels, will begin to sound like music again in the sanctuaries all over America. We pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that the intercessors will be empowered to give birth to divine change, that everything that can be shaken will be shaken. Everything that can be shaken from the top to the bottom be shaken. And everything that needs to be rooted out be rooted out. Raise us up again, Father, that we can restore paths to dwell in. And we can raise up the old foundations that have been torn down, that are righteous and holy and good, and tear down the ones that have been put in place. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the banner of the Most High God wave over the sanctuaries of the living God. Let the blood of Jesus, as it was in the Old Testament, be upon the doorpost and mantle of the churches and homes of your people, that the deaf angel pass us by. Father, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray for divine intervention. We need you, Father. We desire your presence. We ask that you will allow us and bless us to continue to live in this earth realm to fulfill your will in all diligence with all purpose with all intent anoint us father for this day anoint us for this hour bless us to be resilient and resistant to the attacks and the plans of our enemies father in jesus name bless us to be strengthened with might in the inner man, in our immune system and T-cells, in our organs and blood, bones and, and nerves and nerve endings, in our heart and our brains and our mind. God, anoint us. Anoint us, Father, to be, a, be vessels made for your use. In the name of the Lord Jesus, condition us to be the one all of America that are considered the remnant in the earth's realm as the progression of things move in the direction that you want them to go. Make us instruments for your glory. Make us weapons married in your hands. Make us those instruments you pull from your war chest to do what you designed to do. Help us, Father, to walk in your love, to walk in your compassion. Help us to reflect your character in this day and hour. Oh God, we pray now that you will help us to reach that place in life where only you matter. Not even surviving for another day, but surviving to preach the gospel not surviving just to work another job, but surviving to win souls. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, change us to the midst of this. Change the body of Christ, the church, from the inside out. Make us who you always ordained us to be. Help us to see who we really are. Show us ourselves, Father. Peel back the veneer, the layers that keeps us from seeing who we are. Order our steps that we walk in the path of righteousness and holiness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, walk back into our lives in the day of conception in our mother's womb and straighten the rough places and smooth out the crooked places. Father, walk back into our lives and where our adversary found us vulnerable, found us an open door, found us in sin, found us blind and alone. Father, create a new destiny for us. Create a corrected destiny. Restore the potential loss, the drive, the motivation, the strength, the focus. Oh God, we pray now the energy by the Holy Spirit and we give you praise. Give us extended purpose. And Father, we thank you for it right now. We glorify you now. Let these grounds, the grounds of the churches of the living God, be holy ground. Let them be full of fire. Let the grounds be laced with fire of the living God and the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the ceiling, the roofs, the walls, the doors, the windows, the trees, plants, and grass. God, let the blood and the fire of Jesus Christ be upon them. Let the dedication that has gone before you stand. For these are your grounds. They are holy grounds, Father. Let the churches all over America that is called by you, situated, ordained by you, planted by you, be watched over by you. Let the wicked fail in their attempt now in Jesus' name. Let the angels of the Lord preserve democracy, preserve this nation, preserve this constitution, preserve this government, preserve the power, the influence that it has acquired. Father, in Jesus' name, let the secret plans be unveiled, exposed, and canceled out in the name of Jesus. Go before this election, Father, and let your will be done. Go before this election now and let your will be done. Choose whom you will have to serve, Father. Choose who you will have to walk in this office. And remember, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. And when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Father, let not an unrighteous man, a wicked man, be placed over us again. Let it not be so. In the name of Jesus, in this new election, let it not be so. For the sake of our children and grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and the generations to come, for the sake of the prophets, the pastors, the evangelists, the teachers, the bishops, Father, that are being born, that are now as babies in the earth, that are being nurtured and watched over just as we were, in our young age, that whoever preserved the guard for us, we're asking that you will cause the prayers of the righteous to introduce into the earth realm and the systems of the earth the name of the Lord Jesus and the power of the living Christ to serve as a buffer against all evil outside influence and inside takeovers. Let the rule of justice, Father, be established. Let the scales of justice be tilted in the favor of being balanced. 
Let a just and balanced weight that is of the Lord manifest. And we give you thanks. And Father, we give you praise right now. In the name of Jesus. Until we come again. And we will. And we will continue to return, Father. To meet you in this time of prayer and intercession. We ask that the hunger for prayer and the hunger for righteousness will once again grow and excel in the hearts of your people everywhere. In Jesus' name, amen.